Welcome to day 5 of the 20 days of Power BI challenge with Zakra Cleaning. I made myself Bolo Atife Olodipo. Yesterday you learned about data transformation, how to clean data and transform it into analysis ready data. Today I'm going to show you how to merge queries in power using power query merging queries in power bi allows you to combine data from two separate tables based on matching values in one or more columns think of it like putting pieces of puzzles together each table represents a piece and merging them creates a more complete picture of your data. In your whole tab, there are two buttons that can help you combine tables. These are the merge queries and append queries. Now, when should you use merge or append? With merge, when you want to add extra columns to your query, and append when you're interested in adding rules to your query. In other words, when you want to combine tables side by side, you should merge. Merge is another word for joins in SQL, um, Python, and some other tools. Append is just like your union or union all in SQL. So you are stacking your queries on top of each other. In our case, what we need is to merge both tables. We want to merge both tables. Why? There are more information about each tournament in this table. The matches played, the goals scored, and the goals per match for the entire tournament. So, what do we do? I'm going to go back to the results query and click on merge queries. I'll click on merge queries. I click on merge queries. Okay, so let's do that again by clicking on the small arrow beside the merge query. So you can merge queries and you can merge queries as new. All right, so merge queries as new, we create a new query with your merge tables. So let's merge queries. We combine our tables onto the results table. So the next thing is to select the table you would like to merge with the current table. And you also select the kind of join, as you can see, the kind of join you want to perform. After selecting the tables you would like to merge, the next thing is to select the column you would like to merge on. As you can see, I've selected the year column and the tournament column in the results and the all-time record tables respectively. Why did I do that? These two tables are contains, they contain unique values, right? And both columns, even if they have, even though they have different names, have similar or matching data in them. So, what Power Query is going to do is to look at all these data and merge, okay, or join based on these two columns as criteria. Now, the next thing is to choose the kind of join I want to use. Now, there are different kinds of joins. 
go over them very quickly. The first one is the left outer joint. And the best way to explain this joint is that for the left outer joint, the table at the top is regarded as the left table, while the one beneath it, the second table, is the right table. For the left outer joint, you're, you're keeping all the rows in your left table and bringing in rows that match or that have corresponding values in the right table. So your left rows remain intact. Reverse is the case for the outer or right outer column. You see? So here you're keeping all the rows in your right table and bringing in matching rows from the left table. The full outer joint returns all rows from both tables, while the inner only returns the intersection, that is, rows in the left column and rows in the right table. Now, for this our example, the left outer join and the inner join will return the same results. As a matter of fact, because we have exact number of rows and matching rows, we will also return the same thing with the full outer join. Now, for the left anti join, you're only returning rows that are in the first column. Only rows that are in the first or the left column. Not the matching rows from the right. All right? Rows that have matching values in the right table are discarded. Same goes for right anti-join. So let's use the left outer all right and i'll click ok now as you can see our data has been what has been recorded or our table has been merged both tables have merged however the columns in the second table are yet to be read. to do that you click on this expand button here and select the columns you want from the second query. Right now, we have, or we want to expand it, and we need all the columns in this table, apart from the tournament column. I'll click OK, and voila. The merge is successful. Awesome. So now our data has been transformed, cleaned, and ready to be uploaded into Power BI. To load your data into Power BI, go to the close and apply option, your home tab. <coughs> and click on close and apply you can see the options apply close and apply and close so i'll click close and apply and my queries will be loaded into power bi so we've barely scratched the surface of data transformation using power query but in our like you to follow these steps and replicate your own data transformation. We've barely scratched the surface of data transformation in using Power Query. Remember, data transformation is a crucial step in the data analysis journey. Mastering these techniques empowers you to unlock the full potential of your data 
and transform it into actionable insights that drive best, better decision making. It requires practice and a lot more practice. So replicate what we've done today and share with it with us in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about um, this video. I would like to know about your feedback about the video. And have a good day. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Until then, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get updates on new videos, and share this video with your friends. Bye for now.